Hi, I'm Amy, and today I wanted to share a grocery haul and a quick meal prep that I'm doing for the week. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and get into it. I don't have all of the groceries out yet, but I did just want to show you what we got for groceries for the week. As you can tell, I am a little bit under the weather. We just did pick up, but we got some meatballs. I also got spinach. I got this for a vegetable lo mein recipe, as well as kind of like a different take on BLTs. Grapefruit, my husband and my kids love grapefruit. I got a long cucumber. I'm going to be making sandwiches with cucumber. I got that idea from my parents. They make like cucumber and cheese sandwiches, really tasty. Got some oranges. I really wanted some fresh squeezed orange juice. So I got these for that and also just to eat. I got some coleslaw. It was on sale. I'm going to be just doing meatballs with coleslaw and rice for dinner tonight. I also got sugar snap peas. I actually wanted snow peas and they gave me these, which is okay. We'll just make do with these. I'm actually not sure if you can cook these, so I'll have to look that up because I've only ever eaten them raw as far as I know, but you probably can cook those, I would think. I also got cauliflower. Um, these are zucchini. I got two zucchini. I just wanted some for a recipe. I also got some radishes. My husband loves radishes. I got lots of yogurt. We all eat a lot of yogurt around here. Um, I also got some pesto. I've never tried this kind of pesto, but I like pesto on toast with some cheese. It's really good with eggs. It's good on pizza, that sort of thing. Pasta too, of course. I got Parmesan cheese. I got a lot of frozen fruit this week. I want to make some yogurt parfaits, yogurt bowls with frozen raspberries, the granola that I'm going to make in a little bit here, and like yogurt. That's all I have so far, but that's what I want to do. So I got two things of raspberries. I got blueberries. We really like these wild blueberries. They're really nice and small, so that way they can thaw really quickly in some hot oatmeal. I got some baby mushrooms. These mushrooms, the cremini's, are my favorite mushrooms. I got some chicken sausage, it's upside down, but this is my favorite chicken sausage, chicken sage, it's by Applegate, it's really, really good, and I got some sharp cheddar slices, and some oven roasted chicken breast, I also got hot dogs, I'm going to be making hot dogs later on in the week, I got some milk, almond milk, I've never seen this kind before, but I thought I would give it a try, it was on a little bit of a sale, not a great sale, but I thought I would give it a try. Actually, I was interested because the ingredients seem really good. It's just water, almonds, salt. You might be able to hear my kids in the background. They're pretty loud. Um, but I got milk. I got this peeled garlic. I like to get this every once in a while. And I throw it in the freezer and just grate it. Sometimes I'll like grate it ahead of time or put it in the food processor. But I think I'm just going to throw it in the freezer like this. Whole garlic cloves. And whenever I need it, you can just go ahead and grate them. I also got some eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away and then take the rest out and show you what else I got. I took everything else out of the bags. These three were actually in the previous bags, but I think I forgot to show you them. So I got some shredded Parmesan. I got some whipped cream cheese. This is just original. And then I got garlic and herb. So my plan is with that cucumber, I'm going to do some cream cheese and some cheese and some chicken for those who want the deli chicken and then i also bought these bagel thins so we'll have them on bagel thins i thought that sounded like a really good lunch option i have some potatoes i got barbecue sauce we really like this barbecue sauce and it seems to be a lot less calories than the, the sweet baby rays which is also really good i got some potato gnocchi i'm gonna be making like a gnocchi skillet pizza recipe so i'm excited to give that a try so that's why we got this i got some oatmeal that's for the granola um i also got an onion right here and some ginger i'm almost out of the ginger that's why i got that i got a lot of lemons so we've really been liking i don't know if you've ever heard of hot toddies it's like whiskey with lemon juice and honey and water and cinnamon if you'd like but we really like making it just like without the whiskey. So just at the end of the night, just to have, it's kind of like a hot water with lemon and honey and it's really tasty. Um, I got some sumo oranges. These don't look great. 
They were on sale, but they're still more expensive than oranges, so I'm hoping they'll be good. I also got some pears there. And over here, I got flaxseed meal. I don't know if you've ever had flaxseed meal. It's like kind of, it's kind of like a gritty powder. While I was putting it away, I thought I'd show you what it looks like. It's really great in pancakes, muffins, those sorts of recipes. And you could use it as an egg replacement. And so I have had some in the fridge for probably about a year that I use, especially for baking. It works really well for an egg replacement. So I thought I would go ahead and buy some more. And it actually is supposed to be pretty good for you too. So why not? It's full of fiber, protein. Anyway, so I got that. I also got some bananas. We love bananas over here. I decided I would give these Dave Dave's Killer Bread English Muffins a try. I don't think I've ever had this before, this brand of English muffin, but it sounded good. We love olives. I got four cans of olives because we were completely out. And then the last thing I got was some sriracha. This is a really good way to add like heat, a little bit of spice to your recipes without overpowering it. So I just add like a tiny bit to different recipes. So that's everything. I'm going to put this all away and then I'm going to do some meal prep and I'll show you what I'm going to do for that. After I put away the groceries, I wanted to do a couple of items for meal prep, starting with these banana oatmeal cookies. They're not like sweet dessert cookies. It's more like a slightly sweet baked oatmeal. I started with these chocolate bars and I thought it would be a nice kind of more soft texture than a chocolate chip since I would eat them directly from the fridge. And so first I mashed up some bananas. So the ingredients are basically mashed bananas, oats, chocolate. I added in some dried cranberries as well as vanilla, cinnamon, and salt. I will link the recipe I used below, but I did make some changes. But I just baked these in the oven at 350 and they turned out really well. I just ate them directly from the fridge. I had them as like a component of breakfast for a couple of days. I had them as snacks. My kids had them as well. Like I said, not overly sweet, just a hint of sweetness, but it has a little bit of chocolate. The texture is nice and it's pretty filling. I have a few peppers that are about to go bad and so I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them up and pop them in the freezer so once they're frozen I wouldn't eat them like fresh or raw but they're really good if you cook them so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now here are the peppers so they're ready to go I'm just gonna put them in a freezer bag and pop them in the freezer I also have 10 apples that I got from the farmers market quite a while ago and they're still good but they're starting to get spots and go bad and I was just saving them to use them for something special just because it's not something I do all the time get apples from the farmer's market but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to peel the apples cut the apples throw them in the crock pot and make some applesauce Now I'm making brownie granola. It's only a handful of ingredients and I'm putting in oats first. Next I'm adding in cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. Now I'm adding in some maple syrup. I'm just using regular but you could probably use honey or like sugar-free maple syrup or anything like that. The recipe calls for almond butter but I'm just going to use some peanut butter. I don't actually have any almond butter. And walnuts goes in next. I'm a little light on the walnuts. I should have about twice as much as I have, but that's okay. The last thing I'm going to get in is some coconut oil. And then I'm going to go ahead, put this on a sheet pan, and I'm just going to bake it in the oven at 350. Now my applesauce is ready. All I do is kind of cut it and smash it with my spoon once it gets really really soft and that's how you know it's done the applesauce is done i'm gonna go ahead and cover it and store it in the fridge we do like kind of like a chunkier applesauce so ours is pretty chunky but you can make it smoother if you'd like i cooked this for 25 minutes took it out of the oven let it cool and i'm just gonna go ahead and break it apart by letting it cool before i'm gonna break it it will keep it in kind of larger chunks. Here's everything that I meal prepped. 
it didn't take a lot of time, although the applesauce kind of cooked in the crock pot for a long time. But the cookies were one point each, although I don't count dried cranberries. Applesauce is zero, and the granola is four points for the serving that I have in this bowl. It's a 26th of the overall um, recipe, but it's actually quite a bit of granola. Thanks for hanging out with me today and watching this video. I'll see you next week. Bye.